the two-hander. Who's there? Who's there? Hey, Arthur. The gilded cage. If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh yeah. Old friend Dutch van der Linde's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, where are we now? <laughs> Bill, too. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There can be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I'm sure that we will find some. Okay. <laughs> Amazing. Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. What? What happened? Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. He just touched his bum. Brante will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be. Ah, that's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come down this way. Uh, with a beautiful evening at Shadow. Oh, this game. Mr. Brante is a very good friend with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know, Mr. Brante, he has a the thing. What the hell's happening with the lights? Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Bronte. <laughs> come, come. We'll meet you out in the balcony. When Follow the escorts. Ah, oh, these paintings look awful. Since the dubio. Oh, <laughs> this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> so, this is San Denis High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crawley, <laughs> a, a confederate major in the war. I mean, hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taken. None taken! <laughs> <laughs> All these vulgar people. 
They hate me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and scoop cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. <laughs> Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well... We, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. But there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you... Pff, as a guest, yes. As my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. Si. <laughs> what the fuck? If you'll kindly follow me. Why did that need to be locked up so fast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. I'm going to find the mayor. Let's go ingratiate ourselves. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose, you go find us someplace to run. Get me a bloody drink, will you? To do better. <laughs> Not such a Philistine as all that, Marie. Where's the show? I heard you went. <laughs> Ooh, Where's the man? Well, have a lovely evening. That's French culture for you. Oh, Camilla McClare, wherever did you get that? Why, that would be telling. Oh, How are you? you? Nice to see you. Oh, Bill. Can I help you, sir? Well, I'm not quite sure yet. Albert Danielson, Bryn Tilden. This is Mr. Hector Fellows. Well, it's uh, nice to meet the both of you. New suit? Yeah. Uh, I mean, no. Uh, no, it's a new sure. shirt. Are you new in town? Good day, sir. Hmm. I got it from Mr. Wasp. He's the finest milliner in the city. Yeah, yeah. This town gets to a man under my eye. You're French, sir. Sort of. Original. I'm from Quebec. But I left many moons ago. And you? No. I came down from New York for a job. How do you do? Banker. You're the fellows who never lend me money when I need it. And when I've got too much. <laughs> you okay? Oh my lord. The pesky nuts. What a way to go, eh? Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, yes. Thank you. Algenomics. Hello? Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. Hello. Tacitus Kilgore. What is it that, uh, that you do? I'm, uh, I'm an adventurer. Oh, me too. Pursuer of the exotic and the remarkable. And a seat in this land of commonplace heathens. Sir? My card, sir. A lot of money and generate a lot of cash. Can you visit in my atelier? I must just go in. We handle more and cash and cash equivalents than any bank south of Manhattan, including St. Louis. Almost all the Oh, so Hosea gets the bank plan here. Hello. 
Where is this mayor then? This is quite a town that you have here, Mr. Jameson. Oh, I don't live here. I was here for poker. Oh, you play? Oh, it's, um, it's my weakness, my worst vice. Perhaps you should have it whipped out of you like you advocate whipping the sin The out truth of is, since the war, <laughs> the country's doing it. Hey, so hey, I'm working and besides, I disagree. Hello there. The war between me and my... Glass of champagne, sir? I think I can see him on the map now. I have not seen that before. Oh, would you like tickets? What? This it ain't complex. And you... And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, so, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy. You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. What say you and me cool off? <laughs> <laughs> Get your hands off me. This is fucking funny. On, what the hell? Or for the bouncer. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Then you can rejoin the party. Hi there, sir. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. That's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. Ryder? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh, oh, oh. My lord, they're fantastic. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass, and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. Uh, it's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Sure. <sighs> Follow the servant and remain undetected. Why are you being such an idiot? This is not Assassin's Creed, so there's no indicator. What are they going to do? Hey. Is everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. and beat him I will not have standard slip I'm sorry sir but the party is in the garden the residence is purely for family I do hope you understand <sighs> forgive me I was unaware slip in this house <laughs> have you lost your mind I did not know that he was coming back your mind come here come here look at me at me <laughs> who do you think you are this area is not meant for the likes of you you know this the standards in this house are slipping hey this is a final warning to you miss a final warning 
Now get out of my sight. The detail in this game is still unbelievable. <laughs> that they got this on the fucking console. I'm just going to look. I'm not doing anything. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. What the fuck? Return to Dutch. This game still has some bugs. This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. I think. Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find now? There's plenty of money moves through here, of course, and I think I found out how we can grab some of it. A big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank. Oh shit. We're gonna leave. Something important Back came up. The one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high stakes poker game. Come on. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home. Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk all so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. Oh. Anybody see you take this? I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Interesting times. <laughs> I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller, fine man, here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. <clears throat> and what am I gonna do? We oui. Why do I have to go to Trelawney? Ah, there you are, dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. What? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahasi river boat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well no one realizes you're there to rob the place. Now come on. What are you talking about? 
That suit is not fit for the purpose at hand. Come along, dear boy. Come along. Okay. I guess. Hello. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yes. My friend here is in need of a new suit. Make this gentleman look like the duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A very That's good choice, sir. Jealous people. Okay. You can it's free. The aristocrat. Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Wait, but I went to the barber. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. Yeah, you guys oh, got a plan so. too. Come on. Could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. Make him look like a there, prince, very sir. Smart. Come on, let's get to the box. Okay. Some transportation for us. Nice. Hope you have a successful evening, gentlemen. George, to the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you. Toad, the prince. Yeah, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach. We can't whinny up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't Hamlet. So, who's a mark? You all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Bly. Made a fortune in hosiery, of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keeps some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. <laughs> Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. You'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? Indeed. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting for you. she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. They'll search us when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. 
Oh, we're going on the boat. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, gentlemen. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. But I don't have any. Wait. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now where can I get a cocktail? Are you joining us? Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry, I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Evening. Desmond Blythe. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the so game, Mr. Callahan. So that's Desmond. Okay, Let's play. I hope you're a player. Okay. Been too many I'll rip him off. At these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fair? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but... Yes, you should have. Here we go then. Well, hello, my ladies. Damn it. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? Cause Desmond to go bust in poker. Funny. I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know. I thought about getting in a hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Yeah, I'm gonna race. All that. <laughs> Okay, Mr. Callahan, I'm all in. Are you in or not? I think it's a yes. I'm sorry, my friend. I thought you was a player. I ain't got time to waste on fools and cowards. Oh. I don't know anything about poker. Strauss did not to me. So and I don't know what fault is. In, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man for my sins. Funny. I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting in a hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. 
Ja. Sorry to do this to you, but I have no choice. All in. I'll call. Interesting. They're cowgirls. Is this going great? My luck hell. Is that you done? Done? Bust. Or uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning Well, I heard well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Why was the screen Slits. white? A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay, I trust you. Now play as you wish. So you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. I am 100% all in, Mr. Callahan. Strauss? Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. All in. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Pair kings. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh-oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. God damn you! No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? <laughs> Gentlemen, please cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Come Fucking Javier. Come with me, sir. He has taken the job last week. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. <laughs> Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Yeah. Very good. I thought everybody Next. had to give their we'll gun to the guy at the front. Yeah, I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Are we out on the water? Well, here we are. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. <laughs> Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. Holy shit. Yes, you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> Loot the safe. Idiot, huh? Holy shit. Shit, let's hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the safe. Let's get out of here. Can't believe that asshole had another gun. The view in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Was that a gunshot? It sounded like one. Come on. And 
How exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no. Ah, so they know. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by They know that he's an idiot. Thanks. Give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> At the time of my life. You boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. Ah, <laughs> look, there's your friend. My friend is a no good cheat, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. There he is. Now, oh, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. <laughs> There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what the hell? Come on, Roger! We gotta get out of here! This ends here! I was on the gun, I'm afraid! Oh! Silly me. What are you doing back there? Come Nothing. Damn it. We gotta go. Come on. What are we idiots going to do? Oh, for Christ's sake. Are we going to swim back? Right next to me. Yo, these guys. Never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch. Uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss. A, a Reutlinger or something? Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. Ooh, that's a good take. Okay. Damn. Uh, rainfall, yeah. The native. I thought I heard Samuel L. Jackson. Excuse me. Hey, do I know you? Mr. Well, I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Uh, Arthur Morgan, at least, sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Well, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh... Well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. We have great powers of observation. As my people before you are even a people anymore. 
We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, no. but we're very desperate. No, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but... I'm a working man, I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, that appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. No. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. Okay, so this is the setup for rainfall. Or rainfalls and eagle flies. And their part in the missions. It's good seeing you in action with those foreman boys. Like the old days. Oh, I'm just glad we got Tilly back. Oh, that's nice of her. Sadie. Hello, Mrs. Adler. How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. My lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the... San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. You get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Miss Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make him change. Very funny. What is that? <laughs> it's scared. What the fuck? What have they done to me? Look, they're in the tree line. Everybody take cover! Or this boys are coming! What the fuck? I'm trying to do my best. Get 
I'm going, I'm going. Here we go. The reverse KKK. Oh fuck. Okay. I did it before now. Okay. Everyone accounted for. I think. Hey. I said it's everyone accounted for. I don't know. I think. Sadie, I gotta go help. Cover me. I found me one of them women. I gotta go. I gotta go. Y'all miss? Now we go back. We need you in the house, Mr. Sandler. Oh, no, no, okay. What the fuck? many O'Driscolls are there? Karen here. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson, could you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Como Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. He saved my life, and I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. 
That's what love has done to her, I guess. Ah, <sighs> his ledger. <laughs> oh, eagle flies. You came. Of course I came. Said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. Is the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Oh yeah. This is pretty sick. Very well done. Will it drive straight into the compound or? train to San Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then. Oh, the music. When do I disembark? Well then. Fuck this. I'm at the door. Uh, you must be damn Barry. <clears throat> what? Quieten yourself, friend. This won't take long. <laughs> Arthur. Danbury. Yes. I need some papers, my friend. Nothing important. A file. I'm from head office. You're not from head no. You're not from head office? 
Does that seem important right now? No. Need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. The one about the oil near Wapiti? I... <laughs> Damn, Barry. Think, man. A mind is a terrible thing to lose. Especially over such a nice floor as this. It's here. It's here. Yeah? Where? I took the file. You done good, Dad. Wow. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. No. Danbury. Danbury? Danbury. You okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes. It's just I'm working. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Our head office will send me back to get you. Escape through the window. Hey, 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 hold it right there. Weapons on the ground and hands in the air. Easy now, fellas. Now, we won't tell you again. I think that I might know who that is. I shot. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry, he was very obliging. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were gonna enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope, well, I don't know what I hope, but who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. A small price to pay. American on. fathers too. Yep. And that's where we're going to Dutch. And where I'm gonna leave it off. Till the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>